Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan. Your favorite team is back from London, and we came back victoriously, having defeated the Cleveland Browns, moving to 6-2. and two. What a great experience it was. Our UPS Player Spotlight this week focuses on the well-respected Neil Reynolds from Sky Sports. Wabi, take it away. Hey everyone, welcome back to London. The authority for sports over here is Sky Sports. And the face of Sky Sports, Neil Reynolds, joins us right now, our, our old friend. Normally you come to see us, but we've come here to see you, my welcome. friend. Welcome. Great to have the Vikings back. I mean, what a game the Vikings played at uh, uh, Wembley. The atmosphere in London absolutely electric. Big Ben has toppled, and that's your ball game. So yeah, always good to have you guys back. So Twickenham compared to Wembley, uh, what's the difference? I mean, I know both are historic venues. What's the experience like? Yeah, the experience is very good. The, the stands are much more packed to the field. So Wembley always creates a great atmosphere. It seems to hold the noise inside the bowl a little bit more. So I think it's going to be uh, a really fun atmosphere because I think Browns fans are very passionate. And I saw it last time with my own eyes just how much Vikings fans travel. So I think we're not going to match US Bank Stadium, I don't think, but we are going to provide a good atmosphere for you. The atmospheres have been really good for the games over here. Why do you think that is? The fans just love it. They're so passionate about the sport. They love the sport as much as a fan in New York or LA or, or Miami, and they deserve to have the games here now. With four games sold out this year, they really feel it. They're not just there kind of making up the numbers or there for a day out. They they are passionately behind the NFL and they, they enjoy these games. We just haven't had a close one this year. Yeah, well, you don't want one either, right? No, no, we'd rather not have a close one. We want to be coasting at the end. You know, you have a good grasp for how American fans like American football and what what are things that stand out to them. Is it the same here? Do fans like the same types of plays here? I think so. I think you'll see, you know, they cheer for the big hits. They cheer for the long touchdown passes. It's all the same kind of things. I think people are, the appeal, one of the appeals here of the NFL is the fact it's so wide open. You know, not all of our sports are that way. It's not like we're trying to just look for the, the bloopers or the funnies or shots of the cheerleaders. It's all, it's all taken very, very seriously. What do you like about the Vikings? Just love the way this team overcomes adversity. So you lost Teddy Bridgewater, part company with Adrian Peterson. Dalvin Cook goes down with a season-ending knee injury. Sam Bradford hurts his knee. And on and on this team rolls. That to me is like incredible. Because all coaches say it, you know, well, you're gonna have to overcome adversity, but not all of them do, you know. And I think seeing how this team does that, how they can lean on a, a great, I don't like using the word great very often, but a great defense. And, you know, I genuinely think there's, you know, it's that old next man up thing. It, it applies here, whether it's Jarek McKinnon, Latavius Murray, whoever that is that comes in and carries the load at running back. There are many teams, I'm sure, around the NFL that would love to have a Case Keenum right now. Before we let you go, the more times teams come over here to play, you know, they're going to start to get the routine down. Are you sensing that teams are more and more comfortable coming over here to play games? And do you think there will continue to be an increased number of games per season? I'm not sure if the NFL will go past or needs to go past four games. I'm not sure if they need to go, you know, if we're moving towards a franchise and we're still looking at 2022 as a potential for a London franchise, I think that's very real op opportunity and possibility. I don't think we need to go to five games, six games, seven games to prove that. And even if it went down to three with stadium issues or whatever that you have in coming years, I still think we're, we're not losing momentum. I still think we're going to be in a serious discussion to have a team one day.